Good morning. Um, I got up, I woke up at about three. Uh, decided to get up at 3.30 and now it's five-ish or something. Uh, but I'm going to show you a few things what I've been doing. I've been catching a lot of fish. Uh, I just put three videos out last night, yesterday, last night. Uh, just uh, quick ones, short ones, two minutes, two and a half minutes, four minutes, something like that. Uh, but I've been catching a lot. Anyway, I want to show you what I was catching fish on. And I'm going to show you how to what I do. I build my own stuff. Um, this is one of the baits I was actually using. I've put a little extra on it, a rubber band here tied on, because my skirt's just about gone. I've got all the goods you can get out of that one. It is used up. I caught fish, many fish on that this week. Here's the other one I was using. Um, got some yellow rubber band tied on, just a little more fullness. But you can tell green and orange and chartreuse, kind of my favorite colors. Now, water's slightly dingy. Uh, Oxbow Lakes, White River Lakes, Arkansas River Oxbows, if they're clear because of the silt on the bottom, the water's dark, but it's clear. And I really like this uh, black and red skirt, and I'll put a skirt longwise on it for the trailer. Caught a lot of fish on that and when the water's clear. Now, I am love a chatterbait. Here's a couple. There's that black and red again. Uh, and, of course, here's my bright and I like these, I get these blanks, the giant hook, see that? Oh yeah, six odd or something. Uh, but I'll get these blank, they're just lead. I'll paint them the way I want them, put the skirts on the way I want them. Um, but that's a pretty good uh, setup, this this mold right here. I like that one. So I like those. But right now the water's low in those where I'm fishing. And a lot of horizontal laydowns and small sticks and those chatterbaits hang up too much a spinnerbait comes over about anything that's why i'm sticking with it here's a couple of just bladeless uh you'll notice the black again uh, and of course there's my tiger fire tail or whatever it's probably my favorite skirt uh, but i'll pitch those around some trees and stuff if there's not a lot of lay down now made a, a couple last night and these skirts are made <clears throat> where you can move this uh band up and down they're usually closer to the middle and i can move it longwise up here and make a longer bait and i'll show you uh, there's a simple blade about a three or something uh, but that's a good bait i'll fish with that this week now here's another one i made last night and the band is t closer to the middle and you can tell this is a uh, longer shorter bait <clears throat> and this is literally the one i'm going to start with i'm going to put a blade on that one in just a minute uh, and I'm going to build one from, from scratch. But I picked out my blade. I'm going to use a small one. And I just line my pliers up. And I'm just going to whoop, turn that thing. Slip my... I've already put my blade on that I want. And I'll just snatch that thing up there and it's caught. And <clears throat> this is exactly the one I'm going to... Try to get out Thursday. It's cold right now, but it's going to warm up to 40-something, maybe close to 50. Uh, but this is actually <clears throat> what I'm going to start with uh, if I get to go out Thursday. So here's one. Now I'm going to put... Uh, <clears throat> I like these because they got the long shaft where I can put a couple of, uh, a couple of skirts on. This is an old one here. I've had a long time. I'm going to push it up on there for the outer. And it's, it's pretty light. <clears throat> I'm going to take one of those same ones. You know, I like that green and chartreuse, hint of orange. And I'm going to push this one up there. And these, the shank on these are, are, are short, so you can't, it's hard to put much of a twister tail on there. So I can make my own trailer with another skirt by turning that skirt longwise instead of fluffy. And I've got a little light color. over some green and orange, and that's exactly what I like. I promise you, I'm gonna start with that, and I'll have this one tied on, I promise you. So let me throw my, I'm gonna put a little uh, willow leaf on this one. And I said, little willow leaf. It's gonna be kind of cooler water. Was catching, oh man, 70 and stuff. Uh, last week it's going to be a little chilly <clears throat> i'm hoping to catch 10 or 11 
And if I do, one of those might be a big one. But there's uh, the two baits I'm going to be using. That one and that one. Simple spinner baits. <clears throat> I like to make my own. Like I said, I buy the blanks. Same with my chatter baits. I just get the, it's the lettuce color head with the blade and the hook. And I just build it the way I want it. Uh, different color bugs. Fish like crawdads. Again, I got to go down and get me some more skirts. Some of my are wore out, and there's my all-time favorite right there. Anyway, just a handful of things here on how to build a spinnerbait. This is the way I do it. Uh, you can do it any way you want to. I'm catching a lot of fish. I'm going to keep doing what I do. Anyway, thanks, uh, and I'll see you next time on the lake.